Thanks, everyone. This is the She Code Africa Contributhon retrospective. It's the 7th of May, 2021. We're going to discuss and identify things that went well, things that went poorly, and what we can do in our next event like this to assist it to go better. Thanks to all of you for being part of it. Thank you for being, being active and participating in the Jenkins project. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and we're going to look at that as a way to, to sort of guide what I propose. So here's my proposal. Let's move that out of the way. Whoops, there, okay. So what, what, what we've got on the right-hand side of your screen is the original task document that we created. And thank you to all of you that have made comments in its retrospective section. So this is, we see comments from Cynthia, from Sharon, from Onyinye, from Angelique. Uh, I know we've got comments from Kristen in here and from others. So very, very grateful for those. I think what we should do today is take this left-hand document and my proposal is, I'm gonna make this bigger so we can read it together. I think we'd like to review the results, the processes, and the behaviors of the project to identify specific actions that will improve future projects. We're going to, in this session, work from the assumption that everyone was working with good intentions and that they really wanted good results. And we're going to identify things we can improve and do it in a way that we acknowledge when, when something didn't go as well as we wanted, but we're not going to place blame. We're not going to, we, this is just about trying to find the next things we will do that will help us improve and be better. Um, therefore, I think what we ought to do is take a look at what, what some of the highlights were that were, were commented on, obstacles that were encountered and invite some of you to comment on those obstacles. What you, what you encountered as challenges, what problems you had, et cetera. Then after hearing a, a brief description of problems and challenges, we can talk about what actions we should take and I'll try to capture those actions into a plan for actions. Does that, does that work okay for everybody? Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, so here are some of the, the new contributor obstacles and here are some of the mentor obstacles and some of the what could we do better topics. So I think what we ought to do is let's, let's take a brief moment. Would one or more of you be willing to share obstacles you encountered as a new contributor or topics that you think, let's be sure we address this in our retrospective. Onyinye, maybe what we could do is have you go first and then we'll take Actually, no, let's go. How about we go in the order of text here? So Sharon will ask you to go first, then Esther. And then if Lucy's with us, we'll have her do it. Then Onyinye and then Cynthia. And please be relatively brief. We want to hear your voice about which things do you think we should focus on in this retrospective to help us improve? So let's see, Sharon, I think you're here. Now I can't see my participants immediately. Yes, so Sharon, would you like to go ahead? Sharon, I'm, I'm afraid we're not, I'm not hearing you. If others are hearing you, I may have an audio problem. No, I can't, I can't hear her either. Okay, so Sharon, you may have an audio problem rather than lose time. How about Esther, would you be willing to go next and, and give us just your, your insights, your recommendations, things that, that you would like to highlight either from the text we have here or something that's come to you since then? Um. Uh, nothing, nothing new except um, the things that I already said before. So um, I had an issue with, with uh, Jenkins restart. And apart from that, 
I say my main obstacle was when we stand in the Jenkins back. So Okay, so it was understanding Jenkins as a as a product. Yes. Okay, and good. And I use, think how to use it, yeah. Great. And that, that I think fits with this comment that you had made here, right? Familiarize yourself with the platform early. And yeah. and that may also fit with weekly goals. So set timelines on goals might have good. Okay, excellent. Thanks, Esther. Okay. The next voice was, Lu let's see, Lucy. Are, yes, Lucy, you're here with us. Lucy, would you like to highlight a key point that, that for you, you would say, well, this would have been a significant improvement or oh, it would have been better if we'd done this? Hi, everyone. So, Hi. on my side, about the obstacles that I had. Okay, definitely this was my first open source project and yeah, I, I was having also the things that I was doing beside. So the challenges that I had initially were mostly, I remember the first few weeks, I think the second, the first one, I had an issue with installing Jenkins and all those that things that you're supposed to install for everything to run. It was really a challenge because I was using Ubuntu. I don't know, but then I was helped and I was able to sort out that and could, to catch up with the rest of the people. Then another issue, well, this was quite a challenge to me, by the way. It was the fact that the time difference, but yet, yes, it's understandable. But then I had, it was really so bad on my side because some meetings I used to, like they used to happen very late in the night, like quite late, yeah. So I was finding it very hard for me to join up because maybe but then any just some things used to happen around there. It was a challenge. Thank you. So it was a, there was a scheduling thing and, and I in, in some summaries I had not captured that one. So let me put that there are improved communications by um, identifying times that each participant can be mentored. So we had tried a different, we had tried the approach of, of a combined meeting where everyone could be mentored. And that meant that there were times when you couldn't attend. Thanks. Good insight. Okay. Not just, not solely group mentoring. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Anything else that you wanted to share there, Lucy? Maybe a proposal. There was something about, um, especially for the fact that most of us were, okay, myself, I had come across Jenkins at some point, but then I'm considering the fact that most of us were not familiar with almost anything to do with it to, yeah. So, plus the whole open source was a new thing. So maybe we would, okay, I understand that was already in place, but if it would be something like tutorials sometimes in a while that the mentees could follow up then, plus there would be something like mm, a catch up, just like after, at the end of the day, we maybe not really have a meeting, but but get to discuss whatever each mentee have have been able to to handle the whole day during the whole day and even the challenges that they they've gone through. Very good. So so I think you're echoing the same same observation that Esther made that that a tutorial in the early stages would have been a, a real benefit. Did, did, I, did I capture that correctly? So I think yeah. it was, let's see, and where I had it here. I, oh yes, include self-paced training courses in the task document. So this one was, 
I think that's trying to capture what you were describing and what Esther was describing. Mm. Uh, so a sure, successful startup. By, by assuring completion of, of the course. Because there, there are courses. Linux Foundation offers a course. Cloud Beach University offers a course. And they're both free. We could have used those and we did not. Very good. Thanks, Lucy. So next was, next was Onyinye. Yeah, good day, everyone. Hi, everyone. Uh, to add to what my fellow mentees have said, uh, okay, on my own, my own end, um, I didn't really have much challenges, uh, probably because uh, I used iOS, yes, because it was much, pretty much straightforward. Yes, I'm, I also used Brew, so everything was just straightforward, yes. And um, the only challenge I had, which uh, I pointed out on the documents, was the fact that uh, the PR, some of the PRs I used, uh, the maintainers <clears throat> were not nearby to review. So I would actually suggest, uh, if uh, it's possible, to to maybe alert or uh, let these these other maintainers let them know give them the awareness that uh, there will be some PRs from so 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 people. So they will, they will be aware because I, I, I'm not sure they were aware that we are supposed to contribute to, 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 their, to their plugins. Yeah, so if they will be informed before we start or maybe when we start, or if that's not possible, if we can strictly work on, on plugins that are managed by CloudBees, that we have their maintainers available that could, that could actually quickly um, help us to review, that would be better. Yeah, so that's that on our own side. Thank you. Excellent. So I tried to capture that in, let's see here, it was, increase pull request review and merge pace by not selecting plugins unless the maintainers have agreed to a prompt review. So that was a mistake that, that we made. I used a prioritization exercise to prioritize the plugins with the most comments, but then failed to ask the maintainers, will you commit to review promptly? And even worse in your case, one, one team of maintainers has has had ongoing challenges for us in general. Our, we put you on the Artifactory plugin and we've struggled with it in the past. So, so I, we really did not give you the best chance for success by doing that and yet you did, did wonderful work on it. Good, yes, thank you. Okay, anything else on Yinye? No, that's, that's basically all from my answer. Okay, Cynthia, would you like to go next? Um, yeah, thanks. I actually feel like they've said everything. I was going to also mention about code reviews, but um, also I had challenges with some uh, the meetings that we were having on Friday evening. Sometimes they were taking long, which were affecting the people that I stay with because they had to sleep. So I'm not sure if it's possible, you know, to have them. Actually, this time works uh, for me well, but I'm not sure with other mentees. But yeah, it would have been better to just have it earlier so that in case it takes longer, um, then it would be fine. Yeah, that's what. Good. So, so my interpretation of that was, let's see, we had it here, which was, not just group mentoring. We the, the attempt to use group mentoring was an attempt at efficiency that I suspect we could have achieved the same results by having one-on-one -on -one mentoring with one of the mentors and each individual without doing a large group meeting. You know, good, good point. All right, so. Hmm. 
now. And Kristen, I think you've got experience in this area where in Google Summer of Code, the typical mentoring experience there is focused on a, an individual, right? On one person. And, right. and, and so maybe, maybe that's a model we want to consider in the future um, right. rather than trying group mentoring like we did here. Yeah, I think we originally thought that this would be something we could do more maybe collaboratively or maybe even just kind of have like sessions where we all kind of, it's more like a hackathon. Um, then, you know, then it ended up being being like, you know, because it's so hard to coordinate, to coordinate, you know, multiple time zones and, you know, multiple, more people, the harder it is to find a good time, which, you know, everyone, it's, it's, you end up finding, you know, the average time, which means it's like only okay, you know, it's only okay versus maybe the best, you know, like the best time. So maybe it's, um, we could work on maybe doing more things asynchronously and then try to focus one-on-one. -on -one. I, yeah, I, I think we had, a, we thought it was going to be more hackathonish <laughs> than it ended up being. So, right, right. Your your point is good about more async work. I wonder if what we ought to consider is should we say we'll do one one group meeting a week because I think I think there are some things we need in a group meeting. The the group meetings that started the week were helpful to set framework, to, to set expectations, to do process questions. But then the technical sessions should probably be individual focused with others welcome to attend. Anyone can attend, but we'll do focus on an individual. Right. I mean, Mark, I love the session where you basically went through and you know you started, like you built Jenkins core from scratch. I mean, that, that was kind of nice. And that's a good thing to have in a group session as well, too, because it's, it's just everything all together. And we could ask questions or we could look at stuff. I thought that was nice. But it was hard for me personally to go to things on Monday, probably you too, because it was in the middle of my like in in the exact middle <laughs> of my night. So right. um, it was a little bit harder for me to attend that that meeting. <laughs> but but it is well, good to have like I, I do like the idea of having it as like a here's what we're doing you know hey everyone this is you know week one week two and then you know like Lucy you were saying it was you know hard for you to attend those like the hours and I think yeah it's just yeah easier to have individual sessions later in the week. So, so what do you think of this idea? If we were to identify themes for meetings and say, this meeting is a group training session. We're going to share, we'll do the recording. Um, we're going to, to focus on things that we think everyone needs to know or have things that are instead an individual mentoring session where you're welcome, anyone is welcome to attend, but we're focusing on mentoring for this person. Would, would that, do you think that would resolve it? Would that help? So, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume assume yes, Kristen. So that that idea might be feasible. Good. So now now the the there was a comment on more async work, and I think that's a theme that we might want further exploration on. It's something that I hadn't seen many comments on in the feedback, but was curious if there are ideas of ways we could have done this more asynchronously for, for better, better, better results in the end. Maybe what we need is a group training session on preferring async. Let me think about that. Okay, just noted. Okay, so now I wanted to look at some other topics, the obstacles encountered by mentors. And here, mostly I'm looking for feedback from our participants, from the mentees, on if some of these were particularly important, would have been particularly valuable to and others less so. So could each of you look at this list and, and for instance, give, choose one 
or two that you're ready to say, oh yes, that could have helped. So here's one on early morning meetings. Well, so I'll let you do the reading and I'm going to give us just a minute or two of quiet while you read. And then I'm gonna rotate through each of you and see if there's one or two of these topics you would like to, to highlight. Oh, sorry, Mark. Can you yes. hear me? Oh, yes, go oh, ahead, Onyinye. I, I didn't get that, please. Come again. So what I would like each each of each of you as as participants to look at this list of obstacles experienced as mentor and what could we do better to see if there are things in there that I might have missed of, oh, we should do that. So Onyinye, one that you highlighted was interact with more people in the community. And, and that's one I think may need more discussion. How could we achieve that? That's the kind of thing that I'm looking for at this phase of our discussion. So review these sections. Let me paste a link to the document into the chat so that you can each open it. Okay, so where is the chat window? Chat, 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 here we go. Okay, so here's the document. And what look at obstacles experienced as mentor and at what could we do better and give, give insight. So oh, one that Oleg had noted here as is promotional things that I had not captured. How do we, how do we assure that more people are aware of this, know about it, and are ready and willing to help. So those are the kinds of things you're looking for. And then we're going to loop through each, each of you as participants and ask for your insights. Did, did that explanation come through, yes, yes. Onyinye? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So I need to capture that one. All right, hopefully you've had time to, to do that review. So let's go back to, and we're going to, to take a slightly different order this time. I'm going to go based on what I see in the in the, the list. So Cynthia, would you be willing to be our first voice, then Esther, then Lucy, then Onyinye? Anything that you detected, okay. Cynthia? Oh, oh, go ahead. It looks like Esther, you, you uh, Cynthia, anything you detected that you would recommend? Oh, let's, let's take this thing idea from the what could we do better and be sure it's in our summary. Okay, uh, so from what we could do better. Um, 
I think it, um, it's the same thing when you mentioned of uh, interacting with other people, um, maybe having, I don't know, icebreakers. I feel like it helps a lot to just know the people that um, you're with. Um, also, um, as mentioned, maybe having like a theme for each um, meeting that we we um, we get to have, maybe um, say that, oh, today we're going to learn this, uh, this thing, or maybe we're going to learn about code reviews, we're going to learn about some Git commands. I think it would be good just having some mentoring session um yeah with like a topic yeah that would be good um yeah i think that's it for me excellent thank you esther your comments um going through the documents i would say um well interaction between um i think Kristen's um observation interaction between participants and mentors and, participants, and guidance on how to research the topic how to stand step so um i think um what uh, i think cynthia had I remember class, what she said about um, when we're having the meeting, you could choose um, something to learn, something specific to learn. Yeah, that would be great. Good. Okay. Well, and, and I see here a comment that you had made, breaking tasks into weekly goals. I had not, yeah. I had not, I, I, I was uncomfortable doing that, but I think it's a, a very good idea and I had not captured that. Do you mind if I put that up in the top level of it? That, uh, let's see, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, maybe it's, it's use okay. weekly goals. The, the, the worry for me when I did it was I wasn't sure how fast you would, each of you would be able to adapt. And, uh, you know, I thought yeah. some of the things might take several weeks to do and none of you took several weeks, none of you. So, so it was, a, a complete misunderstanding on my part, but set yeah. weekly goals. I, yeah, I, I said I wrote that because um, I figured out that sometimes I spent too much time on one thing and that I was not really well moving at a fast pace and moving forward, so to speak. So I just made me fall back in a way. So if there was a way for me to know that, okay, at the end of the week, this is what I should have achieved then that would be that would be cool because there was no um there was no goal so it was just basically just following it and then at your own time and pace and sometimes you might fall back so very good yes okay and and, and so what the idea there is we have we have milestones and we say hey if you if you only did a part of the things to get here you're still we've reached this milestone let's go to the next thing very good. Okay. All right. So next, I believe was let's see. So we had Cynthia and Esther. So Lucy, would you like to like to be the next voice? <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. So on my side, mine is more of repetition of whatever my colleagues have just said. So first, I feel like there was very minimal interactions between the mentees and the mentors. So something will be done about that. Then too about the yeah timeline for the task. I think we should maybe we should have there should have been goals like so that after if one is not able to 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 go beyond whatever the set goal, then they can be helped, like a solution can be can be found for that. Then I was also feeling like maybe the whole, whole program will have taken longer because within the first few weeks, most of us use the time to even familiarize themselves with whatever we were supposed to do. So maybe, 
time will be taken much longer so that we get to people get to settle and even work within the okay so supposed to work on. so just to be sure i've understood so one of your observations is should we consider instead of a, a one month do it a longer period for six weeks or for eight weeks is, is that yeah, what yeah. you were saying there yeah yeah okay and that's one i had not captured so um i for me the this okay consider a longer longer project duration for better engagement uh, better experience good okay And and I think we had captured your uh, your notes on the weekly goals, and that way we we have a clear. You should be here by end of week one. Good. All right. Let's see. Then yeah. Onyine, I I think your next voice. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, just like I mentioned. Uh, personally, I, I love meeting people, I love networking, so I, I feel, okay, on the Slack channel we were all added to, there is a general channel there, that's the CDF Slack channel. Uh, if, if we were actually introduced Okay, because I feel we were just isolated in one in one group like that, and nobody knows that this set of persons are existing here. So I feel if there was a little bit of introduction, oh, this there are some guys here that are here to do this, and they welcome us, and maybe we introduce ourselves. It's a large community, so I feel it it it, it will give us a a bit of sense of belonging. Uh, and also we, we could meet people there, we never can tell. So that, that's from my own end. If there is a way you, uh, you can consider trying to, to introduce us to the large community. Yeah, that's it. And, and that one for me is, is a challenging one. So I wanted to take some notes there because um, the, the Jenkins developers um, I would I would say they don't have a chat channel that is heavily used by Jenkins developers. Um, a single chat channel. What they have is um, a mailing list and separate chat channels for for subcomponents and subsystems. And, and so that's a, it's an interesting challenge, right? So they, they, we, even on Gitter, we don't have a single chat channel that's dedicated right. to it, right? It's really, it, there's a configuration as code plugin channel. There's a Git plugin channel. There's, there's a, there are several others like that. The cloud native group chats on, on a chat, a CDF chat. Hey. Kristen, go ahead. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not even, I don't know, Mark, myself, like, I don't even know of a Slack channel <laughs> for Jenkins. Um, actually, what's ironic is, like, I know of IRC. <laughs> and it's like, if you wanted to go really retro with everything, there is IRC for Jenkins. But again, it's not everyone is on there. And it's going to be because it is IRC. <laughs> and um, it, it it's going to be more of like there's the, the general Jenkins channel, at least to me, is sometimes more like user questions versus um, developing or like using Jenkins versus like Jenkins development. So it is a little bit harder um, to find everyone, but, and so it is usually easier, like Mark was saying, to find like the individual Slack chat channels based on what you're, based on different pieces. But um, if you, or it, I guess if there was a general question, you, it would just be in the user's channel and someone would be able to jump in and help. But yeah, it's, 
it, it's, I think I don't, you know, different open source projects operate in different ways. And this is just kind of how Jenkins operates. Yeah. So, well, so I wondered, should we have, should we have introduced the, the team, the project to the developer mailing list at the start? And that way we at least could have had assured that each of the participants was invited to and participate in the developer mailing list. The challenge is the developer mailing list has a relatively high expectation of deeply technical content being placed there. And my worry initially why we didn't use the developer mailing list is because first time developers like you were for, for, the, for much of this project would would likely find that developer mailing list uncomfortable or or oh hey we want to have a conversation separately outside the list like we did in slack so yeah i'm not that's I, true I, that's a good point sometimes the it can be very technical on that list um or it's talking yeah it's a, but it might it might be maybe do like in just a general introduction thread and um, yeah just as because even like the Google Summer of Code has its own list, which is what's difficult there. Um, but it, you could just do a, hey, this is like a, almost like a notification that this is happening <laughs> or, or uh -huh. you know, just another way to get the information out to people who could potentially be reviewing. And then maybe in that thing, call out some of the first pieces that we were going to work on. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so that way there was at least a little bit of a heads up. but. You're right. It is kind of, I'm not, maybe that was, it's just like good to do an introduction, but it might not have been as helpful for getting, um, like getting started in development. Does that, does that make sense, Mark? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So announce, announce would feel really good. And that would have at least introduced Onyinye to, and, and Cynthia and Esther and, and Lucy and Sharon to the Jenkins community right. and to the developer community specifically. So that's very good. All right. Uh, Sharon, sorry that we haven't heard from you. Could you try unmuting and let's see if, would love to hear from you if, if your audio is working. Okay, hi everyone. Sorry, I had some technical issues at the start, but I would like to say that the entire experience was good. I appreciate what you did for us, like helping us through the process. For me, I think I'll just say like the rest. I I spent a lot of time at the at the beginning of the tasks, not knowing that it was much easier that I could have moved forward. So if we could have the goals, it would have been much helpful. And then for my case, the way I had a technical issue, I'm not sure if in case someone has something like that, is it possible to assign something like working on docs that doesn't have to work with the technical things? Ah, ah so your suggestion there is should we consider being able to redefine the project or reassign if there was some unexpected barrier for one of the participants. Yeah. Good, good insight. Okay. All right. So, so that one is that sort of a, a, a wild card thought. Let me see. How would we say it? So it would be something like improve startup shutdown by identify technical issues for participants assign a mentor to assist with resolving the issue uh, or if the issue can't be resolved redefine the project for that contributor that participant does that capture what what you were saying sharon yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. All right. 
anyone else have have insights or things that we may have missed on this, I wanted to, before we conclude our session, go through the proposed actions and then let's see if, if we miss something in the proposed actions where you say, no, this is something, oh, we should have done it. And, and we'll then add those as well. Okay, good. Then, then what, what I put as improvement, so I've tried to frame these improvement actions as a goal and an action. So I think the goal is to improve communications. And one technique is in the task list, require a chat posting from every participant and every mentor at the start of the project. Uh, it may seem sort of sort of minor, but it was really quite awkward that one of you, actually one mentor and one participant didn't get into the, into the chat channel until several weeks late because we just didn't do this. So, so sorry and, and thank you for your patience with that mistake. Then to use, to take Cynthia's suggestions, introductions at the start of meetings, uh, icebreakers, to assure we know each other. So and now this is one I had inserted here, have each participant briefly share results in a meeting. Um, that's that's synchronous, not asynchronous. And I wonder if would that have helped or should I just delete this? Oh, I feel that's okay. Um, it's because it's it will look it will sound like a stand up. Yeah, it's it's okay for me. Okay, all right. So so yeah, that, that is a sort of a mini stand up, right? It is a st stand up yeah, status. Yeah. yeah, good good way of describing it. Thank you. Okay, and then identify times when individual participants can be mentored. I think we've heard that from several people. That's, that's a good way to avoid, avoid having a problem with multiple people um, not being able to, or one or more people not being able to attend a group session. I don't know what to do on the more async work here. I'm prone right now to just remove that and think about it separately because I think it's a more general topic. Okay, then increase communication between mentor participants and mentors by identifying themes for meetings. So group training or individual mentoring. Okay, and we've got icebreakers there. Oh, right. So that's Oh, oh, good. Okay, so actually, we've already got this here. Okay, in all meetings. Okay. And include topics of interest. So, so should we identify common topics to consider for group group training? So, for instance, um, Git operations using Git effectively. I think Oleg had done a good session on that or, or using compiling Jenkins. That was one that I think I did. Jenkins core and a Jenkins plugin. Would, would that, I, th I think that would be helpful there then next proposal was decrease participant startup time by including self-paced training courses in the task document. So my thought was you shouldn't need to start the self-paced training until the project begins because the project was in intended to be specific time, but this could have been one of your first things. Instead of us just telling you, oh, do this little tutorial, we could say, take this self-paced training course, accepting that 
you may only get through part of it. Okay, then the next piece was increase pull request review and merge pace by only selecting plugins that we have maintainers who have agreed to promptly review and ask the, the each sub committer, each submitter to at reference all, I shouldn't say reviewers, all mentors in each PR. That was one where um, Esther had submitted some pull requests and I was the only one and I dropped the ball. I failed to do what I should have done and if we mention all mentors, there's a better chance someone else will, will be able to help. Okay, then recruit plugin maintainers. Um, announce. So oh, go ahead. Yes. Okay, so if there is um, a label, it can be adding to the pull request specifically for, for to, to identify our pull request. I don't know. That would help also. Could add labels to our PR. Yeah, I th I thought that pull request submitters didn't have permission to add a label in general. So oh. I, I I I like the idea. I think it would be it would be good to have, and maybe that's a, a, a an even better idea on Yinye is uh, create a GitHub report that shows all um, participant pull requests to all Jenkins repos with, with that, because I, I don't think, I don't, at least Kristen, can you help me there? I think that labeling of a GitHub pull request requires that I have write permission to the repository. Let's see if I, if I grab one, for instance, a, um, the, the workspace clean, no, let's see which, oh, build steps plugin. So let's get the build steps plugin. I don't have pipeline build step. So if I look here, I don't think that I can actually apply a label to a pull request. So yeah, see, I, I don't have edit permission to do that, and I, I don't think even the original submitter can can create a label. But but would a GitHub report meet the same same need? Sure, sure. Would I mean think this, that also would have been, that would have been helpful too? Is that if you made a pull request to like post it into the say I know maybe it turns to spam, but to like post it into the Slack channel? Um, ah. I think that actually like Oninye, like Cynthia, you guys started doing that later and that was incredibly helpful because <laughs> it was like, oh, okay, now I can see that there's a pull request and or it's it helped um, me at least, at least for me, it was like super helpful when that was happening because it allowed me to be able to see, oh, there's something new right now, I can go make sure I don't miss it. Because um, in GitHub, you can, if it, especially if we weren't tagged explicitly, um, so thank you to everyone who did like tag me because what I can do is you can go to GitHub and then you can see um, specific plug, like pull requests that you've been asked to review. Um, but for me, at least like it gets mixed in with things that I'm reviewing for work or other pieces that, you know, other open source projects. And um, I'm not sometimes as good about checking that, but if it was like a an email or like, you know, where I'm added and I can see it to my email or in the GitHub or the sorry, the Slack channel, um, it was very easy for me to go, oh, okay, I really, I need to make sure I can review this. Um, I noticed like pretty much like Angelique, Meg, Mark, you were all real, Oleg, all really good about, you know, as soon as something went in that channel, people were responding very quickly. And sometimes even when I went and was like, oh, I just saw this and I clicked, it was already reviewed, <laughs> which was very helpful. <laughs> so good. I, okay, I really very appreciated good. when you all did that and it might have maybe helped a little bit earlier too in the project for we can make that suggestion early like please let us know where you are <laughs> and that right, way we right. can we can help you as quickly as possible <laughs> well so. and, and that fits that fits with this sort of heightening improving our communication by better using the slack channel good very good thank you excellent okay so then next next goal was increase community engagement 
by recruiting plugin maintainers. So that's something before we ever start the project, announce it and yeah, announce it. Then this one, project startup. So the initial project startup was kind of bumpy one because we started on an on a day when we didn't generally meet together. I think we started officially on a Saturday or and so first meeting was several days later. Um, and and that feels like a really healthy thing and weekly goals. Now, how would you as participants, have dealt with if I had done a bad job of defining the weekly goals and said, I think the first three tasks should be completed in a week. Um, how, would, that, would that have been destructive to your, your feeling of accomplishment? Would that have been demotivating? Uh, I worry sometimes when I set goals that I, I'm just guessing. If, mm. if I had done this, if I had done this, but done it very badly, would that have been much worse than not having goals? Yeah, I think um, it's kind of like a 50-50 thing because on the other hand, if you set goals, then you might kind of um, rush participants and they might end up not really gaining anything because all they just want to do is finish their goals and they're not you know, really getting a feel of the platform. On, but then on the other hand, it could help them be focused. So... I don't know. I, I wonder. I wonder, Esther. Maybe what you've inspired here is is goals. Goals should include. What if we said goals should include communication goals and interaction goals, not just code accomplishment goals? Because one of the things that Oleg reminded me of when we started was that the the bigger picture goal of this project was not to improve Jenkins pipeline help. The bigger picture of this goal was to have add five new people who were more comfortable contributing to open source projects. So, so maybe if we said, if we stated the goals in bigger terms, they would be more likely to be achieved. And we acknowledge, yes, we're using this technique, build a Jenkins plugin as a way to help prepare each of you to contribute in some open source community in the future, whether Jenkins or elsewhere. Mm. That's perfect. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Onyinye. Say that again. I said that's cool. That's perfect. Okay, great. All right. So remember the project goals, the She Code Africa goals not just the Jenkins project goals, right? Because they, the She Code Africa goals are, are, are a bigger picture. Good, okay. Consider a longer project duration. So this one I'm leaving here, but I have to acknowledge that I think we chose exactly the right duration for this one because we avoided a collision with Google Summer of Code. If Google Summer of Code starts for me in, I think less than a week now, it may be, uh, no, it's 10 days. And that will take take me away. So I wouldn't have been able to mentor. So if this project had been declared to be two months, I would have had to say no, and the project wouldn't have happened. So so this one I'm I'm leaving, but but uh, it's a compromise with need to to not lose mentors because we lengthened the project. Good, okay, and last point was identify technical issues and assign a mentor. All right, any any others, we're, we've got only five minutes left. Any others before we call this retrospective done and we'll, we'll take those as planned actions. No, I don't think I have any comments. Oh, and I, I, I didn't even touch on the practices to retain. 
maybe maybe we could do that in the last few min minutes. Um, just just so practice mentoring sessions, weekly session for for the whole group. Uh, individual session. If we said individual session each week between a participant and a mentor, is that would that do you think have been better than our attempt at two weekly group sessions? Yeah. Okay. okay. So maybe that's not even a retain. That's okay. that's. I have a, a question. Yes, please. Was the proposed stand-up meeting among the mentees alone or with the mentors? I was assuming it was with the mentors. Good question. What what would you recommend as a group? So, I thought that this was prepare and share in each group meeting, but you're right that, that if we if you did it just as mentees, you could you could do it probably at much broader range of times than than we could because of my distance from you in time zone and Kristen's distance from you in time zone. That can be okay too. Okay, so so I mean we we could I wasn't sure if the mentees had convenient access to to a way to get together. And so I but but it's a good question. Should we have a a mentees stand up every day or every two days? Yeah, that would be nice too. So, so I, I'm not sure if each of you were actually able to work on the project every day because I, I wasn't sure that, you know, I assumed that you were maybe putting 10 hours a week or 15 hours a week in and some days you wouldn't work on it at all. Um, but I'm, I'm open to that. Should we, should we discuss at the start of the project how frequently you do, persistence or do stand up? Sure, and it can even probably like what would be helpful, especially if, if you all are talking, um, post something on the, the Slack channel. I'm not very into like um, right. trying to over almost over communicate because I think I've put in a lot of things. Sometimes it was hard to, it felt like it was hard to track where everyone was. And so, yeah, meet up, to, you can all talk to each other. And actually, that would probably be really great because then if you have any questions, it might be faster to ask someone else who's working on something rather than uh, wait until, you know, one of us is available or just if it's over the weekend, just post. But yes, just, yeah, yeah. I, I can't emphasize enough. Like, I know it's sometimes it could be, you know, intimidating or anything, but it's like if you, we're, we're all here to, if you have a question, just ask or if you, you're blocked by something or confused um we're here to help so yeah the, the results of that status meeting can be posted or just kind of this is what i'm working on today or oh oh it's like oh i i wasn't planning on i have you know something else is happening i wasn't planning on working today but maybe you know check in tomorrow and then that way um everyone can kind of know where everyone is and maybe kind of even enables a little bit more so you, again, so we're also not fighting for you know middle of the night <laughs> trying to have a meeting together for every right. for either, like, either middle of y'all's night or like middle of our night. It's just it maybe helps a little bit more for um, it doesn't hurt to over overshare, especially if you're in our channel if you're because we all want to help each other. Good, very good. Okay, excellent. We have reached our time. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Cynthia and Esther and Lucy and Onyinye and Sharon. It's been a privilege and a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Any any concluding comments before I end the end the meeting? No, I have none. Thank you, Mark, and everyone. I'm good on my side too.
Thanks. All right. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you, everyone. A, a copy of the recording and a summary will be included in a blog or a link. No, a link to the recording won't be included in the blog post. I'm preparing a blog post that will summarize the uh, retrospective and what we learned, uh, highlight some of your results, etc. I'll probably mention each of you in the blog post um, pull request so that you can then review it and give comments. Um, I hope to get that blog post done today or tomorrow. I would love to have your review before start of my day Monday because I'll probably set my goal to to post the blog post to Jenkins.io Monday the is that the 10th Monday Monday May 10th. So I'll I'll let you know that the blog post is out there and would love to have your feedback. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.